Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be showing you how to create a system in which the player can hold a button to look backwards. So this is going to be for first and third person but you can do this for just first or just third or for both as well like I have in this system. And this is also very easy to customise and change it about loads to get it working perfectly for how you want. Uh, but without further ado, let me get in and show you what we're going to make. Again, very easy to customise and change for what you want. So we're walking around, if I press B, we're going to be looking back like this. If I press B again, we'll go back to looking forwards. And if I'm in first person and we press B, it's going to look back like that. Obviously it's a little bit shaky because I've attached it to the head, but you don't have to attach it to the head if you don't want. Again, this is what I mean by it's really easy to customise and get it perfect for you. So again, in my example, I also have it so you can't really move the camera while you're looking around or you can't at all while you're looking backwards. Same with this as well, but it does control where the player moves. So again, very easy to customize to get it perfect for you, but this is what we made today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create an action mapping to actually be able to press a button to turn back. So I'm gonna to go to edit, project settings, and I'm gonna go down to input on the left and add an action mapping by hitting the plus there like so. Then I'm gonna name this one simply look back and the button I'm gonna have it as is B. You can set this to whatever you like though, but again, for me, I want it to be B. And I'm gonna close that like so and open up my character blueprint, which for me is content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. And here, what I have already is just the code for actually changing the camera perspective. So all it is, is I press the button. If the first person camera is active, it will deactivate it and set the third person to active. And if it's not active, it'll activate first and deactivate third. I hope that makes sense. Again, I do have a video going over that, and I also have a video on just setting up first person, like I have here as well. So again, change it for what you want, so you can have third person, first person, or third and first person. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in the viewport for the moment, because we want to add in our other camera for looking backwards. So how I've got this set up is I've got my third person and first person camera. Then I'm gonna have another camera for first person looking backwards, but for third person looking backwards, I'm just gonna edit the current camera. So I hope that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do at the moment is select my first person camera, Control C, Control V to duplicate it, dragging that onto the mesh like so. And I'm gonna rename this FPP backwards or back for first person perspective back. And we're gonna untick use pawn control rotation so the player can't move or rotate this camera. Which again, you can change that if you want. And I'm also gonna parent this to the head. And again, you don't have to do that. That is what will give it the kind of shaky look. So if you don't want it to the head, don't parent it to anything. And if I just reset its location, it'll be there. And I can just rotate this to get it where I want as well. So again, obviously I want it to be facing backwards and then I'll just move it a little bit like that as well. So that is gonna be where my first person perspective camera for looking backwards is going to be. So again, put this wherever you want, but that's where it's gonna be for me. I'm gonna compile, save, and I'll go back over to the event graph here and find some empty space. And once we're here, I'm gonna right click and get to the look back action event that we made earlier, which is the action mapping. I'm gonna move this down. And out of pressed, what I'm gonna do is hold down B and left click to get a branch, connecting that into the pressed there. And the branch is gonna see if we're in first or third person. So if you're just doing first or third, you don't need to do this. But if you're doing both first and third, then you should do this. So what I'm gonna do is drag in at the first person perspective camera, and out of this, get is active. So again, we're seeing if we're in first or third person, which is gonna help us see which camera we need to be looking back through. And so I'll do false first, because false is if we are not in first person, so this is the third person. So out of false, I'm gonna get a flip-flop like so. And the flip-flop is so I can toggle it, so I have to press B and press B again. If you want to do this so you have to hold it, not toggle it, what you do is come out of released, get this branch again, and then do the code there. So pressed, branch, false, sets it to look back, released branch false, sets it to look forward again. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below if you want some extra help with this. And then A of this flip flop, we're gonna start looking backwards. So I'm gonna drag and drop a reference to my camera boom in here. I'm gonna drag out of this and I'm going to set the socket offset like so. Now what I want to do to this is make it so it's in front of the player. So if I go to the viewport, select my camera boom, I'm gonna set the socket offset to 700 on the X, and you can see the camera is now positioned there. And then we can rotate the camera itself on the Z by minus 180, and it's like that. 
So that's what we want to do. We want to move the camera so it's in front of the player looking backwards. So if I, let me reset that, go to the event graph and you can see the socket offset was 700 on the X. Again, set that to be whatever you want. So further away, closer, different rotation, different heights, anything along those lines, set it up for what you want. And we're gonna drag out of the camera movement again and set use pawn control rotation. And we're gonna leave it as false, so unticked. And again, you don't have to do that. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want the player to be able to move the camera while they're looking back. But if you do want them to be able to do that, you don't need this node here. And like I say, we also want to rotate the camera to actually look back. So I'm gonna drag and drop a reference to my TPP camera here. And out of this, what I'm gonna do is just simply set the relative rotation, setting it to be minus 180 on the Z, like so. So now what that's gonna do is it's gonna move the camera and then make it face backwards as well as not letting the player actually move it as well. And now to set it back looking forwards, we simply just need to do the opposite of this. So we can select these three nodes here and then Control c Control v to duplicate them, connecting this into B of the flip-flop this time. because so I could say A will set it forward, B will set it back. And then we just need to connect these in. So the camera boom goes into the target of the first two and the TPP goes into the target of the last one like that. So this is gonna allow us to look forward and backward for third person. So that is all we need to do for third person. So I'm gonna compile, save, and then test this out. You can see in third person, we hit B, we're looking backwards, we hit B again, and we're not looking forwards because one thing I've got to do is actually change these values. So I duplicated them, connected them in, but we need to change the values as well. So the socket offset is gonna be zero, 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 use one control rotation is ticked, and then new rotation is zero, zero, zero. Now let's try this again, hit B, looking backward, hit B, looking forward, and we can't move the camera while looking backwards as well. So that's perfect, that is the third person one done. And again, if you want it to be hold, not press, what you do is released, goes into there, false will just go into there, and false will just go into there, like so. So I hope that makes more sense. Uh, so now we've done the third person, now let's move on to the first person, which is just as simple. So we're gonna come out of true this time and get another flip-flop, because again, I want this to be a toggle, not a hold. And we're gonna do the same method. So A is look backwards, B is look forwards. I'm gonna start with B this time, just so I can keep it nice and aligned. So what we need to do is we just need to simply set the cameras to be active because we have a different camera for this. So we need to set that to be active. So I'm gonna drag and drop in the FPP back camera there and simply set active like so. And then we don't want to deactivate the first person because we're using a reference to that here. So we're just gonna activate this one and that's gonna go into the B there like so. And again, we're gonna tick this so it's true, so this camera is now active. And what I'm gonna do is Control C, Control V to duplicate that up there, connecting it into A, connecting in the targets, and then also unticking new active. So when we press it the first time, it's gonna be active. So I've got the wrong way around, sorry. The top one needs to be active, the bottom one needs to be not active. So we press it the first time, the camera is active, we're looking backwards. We press it the second time, the camera is not active, we're looking forwards. So again, what I'm gonna do is make it so we can't move this camera. So I'm gonna drag out this and set use control rotation your, with the top one being false and the bottom one being ticked. So again, I'm gonna connect that in there, bottom one being true. And that is it, very simply done. Now, if you're also doing my code here where I've got third and first person, we need to make it so we can't change the camera perspective while we're looking backwards. So very simply, I'm gonna create a new variable naming this looking back question mark, leaving it as a boolean, and we're gonna set this to true or false depending on if we are or aren't looking back. So I'm gonna drag this out and set it there, connecting this into the A of these flip-flops. So whatever comes out of A is going into this one here, like so. And this one is gonna be ticked. It's gonna be true as A is when we are looking back. And then we're gonna set this variable again, connecting these into the B this time. And we're gonna leave it as false, because B is obviously when we're looking forwards again. So this is the code done, and again, just to finalize that, we're gonna come up to our toggle perspective, hold down B, left click to get another branch, the condition being looking back, not. So if we are not looking back, i.e. we're looking forwards, we can change the perspective, because if we are looking back, then we're not gonna be able to change the perspective at all. So true will go there. 
and now that is the code finally done for us. So what we're going to do, so if we want to look back, if we're in first person, we are going to look back as you see, and then we're going to stop looking back by changing the different cameras we're using. And if we're in third person, we're going to move the socket offset of the camera boom and also the rotation of the camera to make sure we are looking forwards or backwards accordingly to what we want. So we compile and save this. We can hit play to test this out. We're in third person, we hit B. We're looking backwards, we can move around like this. Again, still controlling the character. Hit B, we're now back to looking forwards again. If we're in first person, also press jump there. If we're in first person, we can move around. Press B, it's also looking backwards, we can control the camera. And again, I've parented it to the head, which is why it's shaking like this. Press B to look forward again, like so. So this does work perfectly for how I've set it up. And again, very, very easy to customize to get it working perfectly for what you want and how you want it to work and look as well. But I think that'll be it for this video, which we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we have the system on which we can hold or press B to look back in third person and or first person. Again, customizing it to set it up to what you want it to be. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.